So, today we have the Stone 6th Anniversary, 7th, 8th, and 9th Anniversary Ales to catch up on our tasting notes. Those every six month tasting notes that we're a little behind on. It's an asterisk on that every six months. Yes. Give or take. Give or take. Hey, John. Hi. Did that catch you off the card there? Yeah, it was a deep thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What's it like? I yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't describe it. There you go. Bill, how about you? Deep thought or are you present with us at the moment? I'm in two places at once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like everybody else. Yeah. All right, we'll wrap this one up for the seventh anniversary. I'm saying a drink now. I think that's a general consensus. Bill is wondering whether or not, yeah, yeah if you have an extra one. one later. Yeah, <laughs> at least one, maybe. Hey. Or go over to Bill's house in five years and find <laughs> out. I got some orangey character too. Some I put orange citrus. Flowery. Yeah. I, got, I put down peppery. You're all wrong. It's grapefruit. It's grapefruit, huh? That's a citrus. Really, that's what, I'm not getting the grapefruit. I'm getting more of an orange. Sorry, Ryan, you didn't. Okay. Bill apologizes for me being wrong on that. In fact, the rest of us being wrong. Ryan's got that certain. The pithy kind of thing? Not No, it's not the pith. Okay. Terpene. I just don't know about a word called rindiness. Rindiness? It's like trandiness. Yeah, I know that one. Thanks, Austin Powers. So what's the uh, bottom line conclusion? You know, one thing I wrote in my notes is I'm wondering how this thing's going to age. It's really hard to tell if it's going to kind of just mellow nicely or get old. I still drink now because I can't really imagine how it's going to get better over time. Yeah. Good point. Well, uh, yeah. I kind of put. Yeah, uh, I say it wouldn't, but I, I just can't see how it's going it's to. It's so good. It's great. I had this slight, slight peppery and a nice bitterness now, but that's in the fade, I think. You were cheating so. off my sheet, weren't you? <laughs> I was. I couldn't really think about what I was tasting. <laughs> yeah. Um, Whatever John's tasting, that must be what you were tasting too. I thought so I tasted you. We share we tongues. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well. Whoa. That's your dog. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's your dog. dog. Um, I think it's a very refreshing beer, though. I thought I came across a l with a little bit of like a, a slight reminiscent to um, to the 04 Vertical Epic. You know, there's like probably in some of the texture and hmm. some of the malt. Character, but obviously way different yeast, way different hops. There's the Stone Eighth Anniversary Ale we're discussing, and uh, I'm being derided how it's my <laughs> least favorite. But uh, yeah, yeah that's I'm putting it mildly really compared to what John's comment was about that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> called me a name for my my confessing that I I didn't really care for it that much. I think it's awesome. It's it's uh, contrary to you. I think it's one of my favorite <laughs> anniversary ales. Contrary, contrary to me. That's, well, see, that's being polite. Like you're being polite, saying that it's uh, not your favorite style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I thought it was okay until Greg said he didn't like it. Now I really like it. Exactly. <laughs> 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 That's the rarefied position I get to have around here. <laughs> Mr. Popular. <laughs> and taste setter as well. <laughs> but I didn't change my notes. <laughs> okay. So we'll see Steve's unadulterated notes. Bill, where do you run in the controversy? Like it. It'll age well. Yeah, I totally agree with that. In fact, I think I'm going to like it a lot more in many years after yeah. that roasty. It just tends to die down, take the edge off of that big roasty character. You're thinking like the, the more time you wait until you have to have it again, the better. <laughs> if you want to put it that way, I think that's an accurate statement. Uh, <laughs> but if people out there do have some and you like a nice, rich, decadent beer, have some now. The longer you age, it, the more chance there is that his taste will change. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> I thought that's where he was headed with the kind of thing to make it. Okay. Okay, the more you can delay your uh, tasting of it. On to a known favorite of mine, which is the Stone 6th Anniversary Ale. Let's uh, check that out, Chris. 6th Anniversary Port. Uh, yes, well. Yes. Which is an ale, by the way. Technically, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. Technically. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we gotta get rid of this slop first. Oh, what a <laughs> jerk! <laughs> oh, I like John. <laughs> <laughs> this beer is so good. I want to what? <laughs> <laughs> we should make more. I would agree. This beer, oh, yeah. I, this beer is like, it's insane. I, I love this beer. The one, thing I, the one thing I put at the bottom of my notes was, I haven't had this beer in a while. Wish I did. I'm regretting only having one bottle left I in just, my I fridge. I wrote the same thing. 
Only I wrote, um, does anyone want to sell me a bottle? <laughs> I think I didn't have such a favorable notes, but this beer... Come uh, on, Lee. This beer shot me in what the crotch the with a high-pressure stream of, of itself. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, and you're partly to blame yeah, then know. for us not having yeah, more of this. <laughs> oh, that was a really, really awful incident from our past and with and a, actually, a we not quite right. correctly yeah. connected fitting. Steve and was there. I had, I had this beer in my eyes and my boots yeah. with Lee. And yeah. up I, guess, I remember eyes. rushing out to the brewery and just seeing this huge gushing stream yeah. practically knocking you guys over as you're trying to push your way into and then we got yeah. numb. capping it off. Yeah, because yeah, it's so could, cold. You couldn't, you couldn't numb, suffocated. <laughs> it, it's bad. It's bad. I remember you know, well, however bad it was, you didn't go through enough to cap it off soon enough. That's, all. <laughs> That's right. We pretty much paid that. Now that I am uh, have this much left in my glass, whatever you did, it, it lacked. Okay. Yeah. I remember running into the office and telling Greg and Steve, I think we have a problem in the brew house, and now that we, I have only one bottle left, it is a problem. Yeah. Wow. No, I think it, it took that. Nice effect. job, Lee. This good, you know? <laughs> it was that extra processing step. It was. Yeah. Maybe love and pain. <laughs> yeah, love All right. and pain. Well, back to the present and this beer. Um, I'm getting the, the clue that, that we like it, Bill. Right. It's, it's remarkable. I just think this is brilliant. I, I, I wrote down that I think this competes with my favorite stone beer that we've ever produced. I agree. And for three and a half years old, it's amazing. It's amazing how it's holding up and it's still it so... Yeah. yeah. It's really it smoky. is. It's and really what really surprised me, this was a cranked up version of the stone smoked porter, is that we added no more peat smoked malt to the recipe, but only other malts and only more hops to bring up that ABV. Mm. And uh, yet the apparent smoky character is really up front. Well, you can look at it that way. You can look at it as we've concentrated it by not having so much water. So we just didn't want <laughs> But you added a lot of other stuff, hops yeah, yeah. and other malts. Yeah, definitely. You think it would have... Uh, well, would have yeah, blended out there a little yeah. bit. That's a nice balance, though. There's still that chocolatey, you know, some roast character, some light caramel, and yeah. some hops, a little bit of wood. Don't get as much wood out of it as I... As I don't get as much distinctly oak character as I would like. Yeah. Or would have hoped for, I guess. Why yeah, would you that think that we would? My crotch, I would <laughs> I think we blew Can we not we talk about that out. anymore? <laughs> what? We just screwed it all? Did we, yeah, we blew it out. When did we age it on oak? Oh, yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah. I, you know, That's, I completely forgot that, about that. The sock is what caused the problem <laughs> right. in, in the whole the, the sock with the oak chips. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. call it this big uh, kind of netting bag that yeah. had the oak chips yeah. in it. That's what caused the whole issue. Yeah. This is a real bitch to make. <laughs> but, uh, hey, but a blast to drink. Some of that acidity, that sort of tanginess that it has. Maybe you don't taste the wood, but it's right. tanning but it's acid. Right, right. But if we had a non-wooded version next to it, you'd, then you'd really right. be able to tell the difference. The first thing that hit me when I put it in my mouth was like... A little acidity. But like Steve said, I'm amazed. Not the the smokiness, as it warms no, up, it is so smoky. It's incredible. Right. How long do you think this will last? I think yeah, almost ever, yeah. Yeah, really. I don't. I, I don't I'm see wondering. The, I don't see the um, the driving characteristic being something that's like diminishable or not not in the near future. Right. You know. So. I almost wrote that this would last my lifetime, but then I didn't want to, you know, get run over by a bus tomorrow <laughs> or something, yeah. and, and have that be all of a sudden true for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, so. Right. so I just a little superstitious. Huh? I just said for years and years and years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. Steve, how long? What do you think? Yeah. Uh, you know, I was uh, for me, it's just too smoky. That's like the overriding character right now. You know, I think it needs a little more, believe it or not, a little more time. You know, after three and a half. After three and a half. I think it easily can take more time. For my palate, it doesn't need it, but I, I. I know that's the thing. The smoke mm -hmm. may not go away. Well, I'll it take yours. Seems like it's got. I don't remember it being this smoky before. I think it's gotten. It's almost become more prominent, which is weird. Maybe some other stuff. I do remember it being. Uh, a lot smokier than I would have expected based upon the recipe and, and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I also remember being my favorite back then you know, when I first started trying it, so, and that hasn't changed. Maybe it's that character of the oak chips that just bring out, you know, you, we didn't have any more people smoke them all, but it's maybe the oak character that kind of brings that out as it ages. Yeah, oh. This thing about scotches that age for to 20 years. Notes written. Right. Discussion had, like, beer drunk. Go Good time to go back to work. Yeah. yeah. Well, what time is it? It's almost, uh, yeah, 435. 435. <laughs> it's quitting time. Cool. Cheers. Cheers.